Hello Aries and welcome to my channel. My name is Joy and today we're going to be doing a two week reading for you. This is going to be from May 5th, oh, I'm sorry, May 7th through the 21st. Alright, so let's go ahead, shuffle one more time and we'll see what the cards, what do the cards, um, what to suggest for you for the next two weeks. Let's see, Aries. Okay, let's begin. First card you have is emotional withdrawal. This is your first card here. So this is your your main your main reading is all about uh, emotional withdrawal. And it's also a number eight. Number eights are very are very powerful. And you know, as you know, if you turn an eight sideways, it makes the infinity sign. Um, so again. Don't let, don't let um, things that may be seeming to rushing at, may, things may seem to be rushing towards you this, these next two, these two weeks here. And it's telling you not to, not to withdraw from those things that are rushing in at you. Don't let the emotions of whatever this situation, whatever seems to be rushing into you, don't let them, don't let your emotions withdraw you from it, okay? Because everything that rushes forward has to, you know, it has to ebb out. It has to flow back out. All these water is emotions. All these emotions are flooding in at you. And if you just, if you don't withdraw from them and you just, if you could just kind of either kind of absorb them a little bit, but kind of uh, don't live in that emotion, of course. But, you know, as long as you can kind of let those emotions flow, let your emotions flow, because they, they you know, don't withdraw from them. Because there is a lesson, very possibly, that is coming from all these emotions that are maybe feeling like they're rushing in at you. You know, it's telling you to go ahead and pray. If you notice, you know, this, this person here is sitting. He's sitting here with his hands in, you know, his hands in a prayer. Give out those emotions to the universe and let the universe, you know, pray. And, and give those emotions out. So you're, not, so, you're, so you're not feeling withdrawn. You don't want to withdraw from the problem because it's over emotional. You don't want to withdraw from it. You want to to learn to, you know, give it, you know, to let it not hold you back is what I'm saying. Because it the emotions will will flood in and they will flow back out. You know, it's kind of like if something is bringing you down, don't be ashamed of letting your tears fall, okay? Don't let don't be afraid of letting those tears fall. The emotions are coming in. Let that emotion like this ocean here, flow out of you. You know, go ahead and have a good cry or have a good talk with someone and, and let your feelings out. You don't want to hold your feelings in. This next two weeks, you may be, like I was saying, you may be having an emotional time. But again, this is a very powerful, very powerful message to you. It is the infinity sign. You know, what comes around goes around, you know, all that. You start up here, you're at the top, you know, you start coming down, you're feeling a little down, and then you build yourself back up. And that's what this card is actually representing to you for the for these next two weeks here. Okay. Your next card is su Suffering in Silence. Now this is what you may not even be re recognizing or realizing that this is possibly what you're doing as of right now and that is why this card has shown up for you as your very first card it's telling you to go ahead and let your emotions out let those emotions flow out there's no reason that you need to be you need to be in this suffering in silence speak your mind like i was saying before you know talk to someone get you have to get those emotions and those feelings out don't hold them within you this is your inner self coming here, coming here, and she's, as you can see, she's looking, 
sitting on this ledge here, and she's staring out into the beautiful sunshine, the beautiful sun coming up from those mountains. You know, the mountains, you know, are, are representing your higher, your highest attainment, attunement, attainment. Um, so you want to, you want to go ahead and you want to, you know, don't, don't sit there and suffer about it because this, you know, that sun is coming up from those, from up from those mountains. So let these emotions run out and you can be again, like I was saying, it always, it always goes around. You know, you can be up here again. You can be up here on, on the top again. Passion ignited. It's a number one for a new beginning. Something will, you will feel that passion again within your heart here. You'll feel that passion here. The fire, the fire is burning here on this card, right? You know, right, right here, and it's coming up. And you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel the warmth, and you're gonna be rejuvenated. You're gonna rejuvenate, be rejuvenated. All right. You just have to learn to let those emotions again flow out. Because the passion will be ignited within you again if you just uh, if you just learn not to hold it in and put yourself in this suffering uh, in the silence of this issue or whatever this is that resonates with you in this reading. You have to let it out. You have to let others know. You have to let yourself accept it. And move, and move on, because one is for, this one here is for a new beginning. This is a new beginning here. And you have patience and planning. Patience and planning is coming in. You know, while while you're you know while you're you know when you when you're going through this or if you have when you were doing that when you were doing that suffering in silence you were over you were possibly you know overthinking stuff and you know you were going through that kind of stage where you might have been overthinking stuff and this this card here is just coming in and, and telling telling you to to go ahead and for this new beginning you know for this new beginning that's here to go ahead and and take some of that don't take the all the suffering pain but you've like I said you've learned something from this this is you know this is this first card with emotional withdrawal is, is a lesson for you so you'll have patience with yourself if you need to have patience with yourself and a whole new slate like this was a chalkboard this chalk that what board has been erased now so if you notice this is like a notebook a p notebook paper here okay, between these two pillars now the pillars are for balance to keep yourself in balance so um, you know the slate's been wiped clean for you in this new beginning so start planning and start start planning again and You've learned something out of this, out of these these two weeks. You've learned something, or in the past, you've learned something. And these two weeks, I want you to to wipe the slate clean, wipe the slate clean, and start planning and start going at forward. Don't stay suck. Don't let that water suck you in and drown you. Don't let this water, don't let this ocean that's flowing in, you know, suck you down. Your final card. <laughs> Beautiful. New beginnings. There's your new beginnings, right? Here's the one. Ones. Ones are, are representing a fresh start, right? A fresh start. And here's your here it is. Here's your new beginning now towards the these two weeks. Or towards the end of these two weeks even. Very possibly that, that new beginning is gonna come forward for you. You're gonna be stepping past. You're gonna be stepping out this door. Going to be stepping out this door here through that threshold, leaving those emotions, leaving those emotions and that suffering behind you. Okay, let, let it go, let it let it go out with let it go with the flow, let it flow out and flow out from you. Okay, and that new beginning is, is going to be starting to happen with you. You've got the you know, you've wiped your slate clean, you've got the new, you've got your 
got the new slate, you got your new chalkboard, your new paper, whatever you want to, uh, you know, make when I say wipe the slate clean, whatever that means for you to, to do that, to wipe it. You've got it clear. You've got it cleared. You've cleared out all that suffering. You've cleared out all that pain. All the emotions have come out have come out of you now and have flown away. Your passion is ignited again with this number one to, to go ahead and rewrite and write and rewrite your next, you know, rewrite your rewrite your <laughs> your, your, your newness, this, this newness that you want to start over. You're going to start fresh. You're going to start fresh. It's a new beginning now is coming forward to you and it's showing here, right here. You know, she, she has this, you know, she's stepping out, she's stepping out onto the, you know, she's stepping out onto this world. It's a brand new world. It's a brand new world for you. Okay? Start something new. Get back into, you know, get back up this eight here. Get back up on the top of this hill. On top of this circle here. On the top. Get back up on top. You know, eights are ever flowing, you know, they're, they don't stop. They're like, they're ever flowing. You're going to have emotional troubles sometimes. You're going to have suffering sometimes. But wipe that slate clean and cut that cord and you go out and you start this fresh beginning with this new passions because you've wiped that slate clean from your past and start afresh. Start afresh you. Okay? It may take small steps if needed, but start something new. Start that freshness Again, that is what your message is for these next two weeks. Okay, Aries, bye.